Now we will discuss the various problems faced by consumers in a marketplace. These are price variation, adulteration, non-availability of product in the market, hoarding and black marketing. Defective weights and measures, poor consumer guidance, deceptive trade practices, lack of standardization, marked products and poor quality products. Now we will discuss price variation. Same item price different in different shops within and between the market. Price variation is there in wholesale as well as in retail markets. Price variation is there in two shops in the same local area. For example, 1 kg dal at one store is available at Rs 130 per kg and at the other store it is available at 150 per kg. Why do price vary? Price variation between the markets at same location affect the prices of the same commodity at different location as well as price of a product more in elite market than the local market. Likewise, price of a product which is in the season, for example, the perishable products like fruits, they are of relatively cheaper price as compared to the off-season products. Similarly, products purchased at local store are at relatively cheaper rate as compared to the same product bought at the mall. Size also increases the price of the same commodity, like 1 kg is more than half kg. Maximum retail price, that is MRP. MRP is a manufacturer price which is highest price for a product that can be charged from the customer. It is printed on the label and it includes the seller's commission. The seller can also change or charge less price than the MRP. Now we come to adulteration. Have you observed water in milk or metanol yellow in pulses, spices? What is it? It is adulteration. Adulteration is addition of certain other item to the main item to increase the profit of the seller. It also includes removal or inclusion of certain unwanted product into the final product. It makes the product impure, unwholesome and lowers the product quality. What are the effects of adulteration? Adulteration of the food with harmful colors, stale ingredients, poor quality, etc. makes the food harmful, impure and unwholesome. Let's discuss the examples of poor quality products. Electric shocks from poorly designed electric iron and immersion rod. Switch getting fused very quickly and within a days of purchase. Fabric shrinkage and color fades. There can be genuine reason for non-availability of product that is low production less supply in the market, transport air strike, and natural calamity like drought or floods. There can be intended reason for non-availability of product backed by the profit interest of the seller that can be hiding products for sale in future at high price, black marketing, product available at some other location or vendor at much higher price. Examples are onion and potato seasonal unavailability due to induce price rise. Defective weights and measures. Use of irregular weights like bricks, stone, hollow bottom of iron weights that resemble 1 kg. Defective weights and measures are done by hawkers and vegetable vendors. Use of faulty weighing machine. Piece of magnet or cardboard under the pans of a weighing scale. Meters not showing zero reading in petrol pumps auto rickshaws and taxis, use of dented or false bottom measure, packaging of products with less quantity in large packets, packaging of poor quality goods in stylish wrappers that cannot be open for examination of quality, deceptive use of brand names, labors and packaging are other examples of deceptive trade practices. Also, one other measure to attract the customer through deceptive means are attractive free gifts, sales and discounts, expired articles for sale, imitated or duplicate products at original price. Poor consumer guidance. Lack of awareness among consumers 
initiate the shopkeepers to exercise their exploitation in the form of imparting incomplete information to customers shopkeepers promote higher commission products they also behave rudely with the customers lack of standardized products we all have to look for standardized product for quality assurance these standardization marks are given by the government of india under bureau of indian standards now let's discuss solutions to consumer problems as a wise consumer we need to conduct market survey and refer to other sources of information buy from kendri bhandar fair price shop authorized company showrooms cooperative stores or other reliable shops of good reputation obtain bills receipts and guarantee cards buy properly packed and labeled products only read label carefully and discourage hoarding and black marketing don't get deceived by sales tricks buy products with good quality and after sale service report against unfair trade practices to the concerned authorities and do not accept any product using irregular weights